this app review. And this app review is about an app that's in its beta phase or beta phase, depending on where you're from and how you say it. Um, so it's in its trial phase at the moment. And the app is called Phone Expander Dot. Com. That's where you get it from, phoneexpander.com. The app is called Phone Expander. I do apologize. Right, so if you want this app, just go to www.phoneexpander.com. The app's an excellent little app, and what it does is it removes cash from your um, from your device. When I say cash, I don't mean physical money. I mean C-A-C-H-E, and that's cash, and that's sort of memory. So basically what happens is when your phone, you open an app, for instance. Let's say you open Facebook app and then you close the Facebook app, your phone, your, your app, that app will keep a cache, keep a memory, keep save some space of your phone in order to open itself to the last correct place or the last place that you used it from. So it just opens a little bit quicker. And a lot of the time, I'm sure you've all done it with frustration with a 16 gig sort of space device. Um, it can, you know, it, it it can get full quite quickly and this just sort of gets rid of any stuff quickly that you want to remove and it does it safely as well it's a great little app and it's really stable in its current form um so yeah if you want it www.phoneexpander.com i'm going to show you how to use it right now so once you've downloaded it you click this little download button right around here just over here um and once you've downloaded it it will go into your downloads just go into your downloads and double click it and it will open um, and then just drag it into your into your launch pad if um, if you want if that's where you want to keep it so when you um, when you open the actual phone expander app it will ask you to input your web uh, your um, email address so just um, in Put your email address in and then you, you, you're away and you can use it. Just plug your, your device in, your iOS device, by USB and, and, you're, um, and you're away and you can use it. You won't get it in the App Store um, because it's in its trial phase at the moment. So I've got my iPhone 6 connected at the moment and basically you have these four tabs. Because it's in its trial phase, the clear music is not yet active. So by putting in your um, email address, they will email you only when they've do, done updates. So let's look at the clear temporary files. Um, I've recently done mine, so everything less Facebook is sat um, at sat at zero kilobytes. But most of my apps are sat at zero kilobytes. But the ones that have stored any cache, you can see, are um, are right here. And by clearing 78 caches, I could save myself 106.4 megabytes of space. When I first did this. Um, I saved myself over 700 megabytes of space just by clearing 100 and however many caches it was. And it's, it's just as simple as clicking the little clear cache button and um, and just waiting for it to clear your cache. What I would say is when you um, when you plug your iOS device in, obviously iTunes and all that good stuff is going to open. So just close all those down and it works better when your phone's not in a sleep state. So just try and keep your phone sort of active and this will work a little bit better. Um, we've got the apps, so we can quickly remove apps um, using the phone expander as well. It will tell you how large the apps are on the right-hand side and what apps they actually are on the left-hand side. So if you want to remove an app, you just select it on the left-hand side and then remove checked. It will tell you how much space that you're going to save by removing that app. Um, obviously, if if you want to remove apps or you want the app back later, you just go to the App Store and you download it again. Um, it's quite clear. It's quite easy to do. Right, clear photos. So clear photos. At the moment, I've just got back up and removed the videos checked. So I'm going to click the photos as well. Now, for um, if you read it, remove files older than one month. So if I remove files older than one month, I'll remove 85 files and I'll clear up 506 megabytes of space. But it will back them up to my desktop. So it'll put a folder on my desktop and it'll back them up to my desktop. So I won't lose any images. So if I want to go and delete more, I can move them and delete files, remove files older than one day. This way I get to back up and remove 99 files that will save me 513 megabytes. Likewise, if I want to delete fewer, I can delete fewer. So if, if you see I've got files older than two years on my phone that have been backed up across my devices as I've changed them. And that's, um, you know, it's not very much space. But when you get up to towards the 530 megabyte um, and you're going towards a giga space, you've only got 16 gig, 
um, to play with all your apps and all the music and all that good stuff that you keep on our phones nowadays. It um, it does fill up quite quickly. And um, let me just let me just remove some of these photos. So let me let me do these three or five files that I've had on for more than two years, um, and they're photos. And I'm going to back up and remove to my desktop. So if I select my desktop, it will create a folder for me. Um, finish okay and it's created a folder over here for me phone exp expander and it's um it's saved my images in there so that's quite easy as well and as i said it's in its beta phase or beta phase at the moment so the clear music is coming soon um so when i first opened this my device was um 80 something percent full I've cleared the cache, removed a couple of apps, cleared some photos, and it's now 68% full. So it definitely works, and it's um, it's really, really good and really, really solid at the moment. So it can only improve um, when it leaves its sort of trial phase, when it goes out into the um, to the App Store full. So if, like I said, if you want it, www.phoneexpander.com. It's a great little app, really solid, and um, it's easy to use. So have a good time. Catch you soon.